So let's learn how to produce um, cocoa butter. Cocoa butter cream, yeah, it's scripted. Today in our lecture, cocoa butter cream. I'm going to mention the chemicals required and um, quickly run down the procedures. But on my blog, I'm going to write them down. I'm going to write them down. Yeah, how to produce cocoa butter cream. Uh, number one, um, chemical required. Let me mention the chemicals required for your cocoa butter cream. Number one is your glycerin. Number two is cocoa butter. Number three is boric acid, essential oil, ammonia, and steric acid. Let me repeat them again. Number one, I said is uh, glycerin. Number two, steric acid. Number three, cocoa butter itself. Number four, ammonia. Number five, water. Number six is boric acid. And number seven is your essential oil, which is optional. So you can choose to use it or not. So let me quickly go to the procedure. Number one, mm -hmm. um, of course, you have to light your cooking gas, your electric cooker, your stove. And then get your um, heater ready and combine the glycerin and steric acid together with your cocoa butter to melt, to dissolve. Yes. By the time you combine the three, your cocoa butter, your steric acid and um, your glycerin, you stir it, you turn. By stirring, I mean you turn. You keep turning it. While you mix... Um, Don't allow it to the water to overboil. Oh. Then, having melted your cocoa butter and glycerin, mm -hmm, add the ammonia. 
when you add the ammonia mm -hmm, in a separate mixing bowl you combine it with the boric acid <laughs> it's calling ammonia <laughs> you're funny okay today um is unfortunate later i will bring you the videos when i'm producing them but um it won't be anytime soon so i have to teach the ones i can for now so if you are a quick learner you grab it and then you practice it over time you become perfect so in a separate mixing bowl you combine the boric acid with um warm water so add the um the cocoa butter and keep um all the other procedure that you 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 did um you combine in the first step the first step okay let me start all over again the first step um i have seven steps here so listen attentively so you can grab it the first step put your mixing tank pot whatever you want to use to mix the cocoa butter on fire your electric cooker your stove your heater anything when you put the, your mixing tank on the fire you put your serene together with your stereo acid and cocoa butter itself cocoa butter having combined these three ingredients these three chemicals the next thing to do is to allow it to dissolve to melt then you stir it by stirring i mean you turn you turn you turn go to step two this class are for the very smart students I wasn't taught all. I made the researches on my own and the little that I was taught, I developed it. So you can develop this one. I'm giving you free of charge. So, but if you want one on one lecture with me, you can always contact me and uh, I tell you what is required. Okay? That one, terms and condition applies. So, step two, when you mix, why the mixture in step one is melting? you heat the water do not allow the water to boil like let it boil for a few minutes warm water you set it aside because you're going to use it in one of the procedures now the step three remove the melted cocoa butter glycerin and steric acid from the heat and transfer the mixture into a mixing bowl add the ammonia stirring with a spoon or anything you want to use to stir until the mixture becomes milky. Number four, find a separate bowl, combine the boric acid together with the water you reserved, your warm water, add the boric acid, mixture um, um, together with the cocoa butter and continue to stir, continue to turn at a very high speed right now. Continue to mix it for like 10 minutes. Then, um, if you like your perfume to be um, to have a good fragrance, like you may add perfume or it's optional. If you are using a mixture of essential oil, combine them in a bowl before adding the mixture. The mixture combine. Remember that anytime you want to add your perfume or essential what um, oil, you have to do that by the time you bring down your mixture and allow it to calm down. The reason is because you don't want the fragrance to evaporate. So you don't pour your fragrance, your perfume, your essential oil while you're still mixing it on the fire. Otherwise, you go lost. So the money where you take by the perfume on your essential oil, you go go and now you go cry. You go say, Man, asadi akawa squara me for ma. You go say, Asadi not teach you well. Remember, I'm pulling my ears right now. Don't put your essential oil and your perfume while you're staring on the fire. Otherwise, the perfume go evaporate. You don't go perfume. You don't go perceive the smell. Some, some. Your money don't go be that. As you bring them down, put your essential oil, put your perfume, and allow it to solidify. I don't finish you. I don't talk my own. You feel talk your own. So until I come your way again, with another interesting episode of my show, Asa G TV show. Of course, you all know that I'm your regular host on the show. To my channel stay glued with me they have all been asked you give me thumbs up on youtube
give me thumbs up on YouTube, like my pages, follow me on Instagram, Twitter, all my pages, and of course, subscribe to my channel. Not only friend them and I take him to support the RCG brand. If you want to support me, it is not by force.